to do a mosaic. It's been a while. But I found this really cute old window. It looks like a transom window to me. An old transom window. And I'm going to figure out what I want to put on it. Here's where I keep all my glass. All of this shelving is just old sheets of glass and I gave all the rest of my scrap away, but there's lots of baubles and beads down here. There will not be links. <laughs> you can find all of these at your local glass specialty store and even a lot of these things at a Home Depot in the tile department. Or online with like Blick or other respected art stores. Some of these fit really well, others need to be cut. So I'm going to cut the glass. If it's a small little cut, I can nip it like this. And then we need just a little bit. And I always tell people when I start working with glass, do not come around my area barefoot. Will be glass shards around. Here. Fit in there better. This one needs a little nip. something down on the glass just still playing no commitments here I do like this bright blue pop and I love blue and yellow together okay okay we kind of have something on the window that we kind of like we like our placement we're definitely going to do a sunflower we know enough about sunflowers to know that if we glue this portion down then um, we can go from there. We like the placement, so we're good. So now we're gonna use glue. Now this is my glue that I use, and it's very old bottle. It's, um, the glue's not old, just the bottle. But the glue that I use, and my preferred choice of glue for mosaic art is, let me show you. Oh, well, I'll just turn it this way. Matt. Black
wanted to show you right here. I'm making them come around here and I've gotten to this corner where we run into this line. And I'm gonna have to cut that corner right there. So again, I'm just gonna take my nippers and I'm just gonna eyeball it, which I can be very wrong on this. It's so funny. Sometimes I'll come in like completely opposite even. It's crazy. Let's see if that'll work. I think it will. And then the next one, if I could use this piece and I could. It's a great night light in the bathroom. You know, it gives enough light to see by, but you don't have to have the full lights on at night. I just love mosaics. They're fantastic. Here you see me using the glue to build up around the glass pieces. I just wanted to mention that it's important that you cover up any areas where the glue may not be completely under the glass. All right, we're going with this. I filled up my glue bottle, and now we gotta glue this thing down. I don't wanna get too far ahead and get them all set out and then change my mind and all that. I want to commit and get this window done because I'm going to get back to painting.
Okay, and there's all the flowers glued down and finished. I think all I'm gonna do, I might put, if I can find one, a little butterfly in here. <coughs> Pardon me. And then I think what I'm gonna do is uh, just fill in the rest with green. All right, we are done. We have successfully completed a mosaic window. How much fun is this? So bright and colorful. I just love all the beautiful colors in the glass. You can see there how the glue dries clear. The glass is so bright, but you just wait till we get it grouted, and then it's really gonna pop out at you. But fantastic. I just love finishing a project. All right, now all we have to do is grout it. But that's a whole nother video. Coming soon.